water temperature is 66. Yeah, the air temperature is probably about, it's in the low 70s. Forecast get into the mid 70s today. Filling up my live well right now in case if I catch a big bass, I want to put it in there while I get the camera ready. Well, I have a brand new reel that I'm using today. It's an Abu Garcia Revo. Let me check here. Yeah, Abu Garcia Revo. SX. So far, I really like it. That's only about the fifth cast that I've taken with it so far, but it casts really nice so far. It has nice wide grip on it, and the grip is also a really, really large um, handle on it for bass, for a bass reel. First fish of the day. First fish with my new reel. Looks to be a decent sized largemouth. Yeah, I'll take it. Good way to start. Well, this little fish, this little bass, I saw I saw some splashing going around up in those lily pads, thick lily pads up there. Not these ones close by, but the ones up there where he got off. It wasn't a very big one. <clears throat> I saw some splashing going around right up there in the th thick pads, so I threw my lure right up in there. And it was too thick for the lure to be working properly so I was kind of dragging it across the pads kind of like a frog and then it would hit the edge of the pads the blade started turning I started cranking and just a short while later it, the fish hit out here away from the pads so I think I think it was the same fish I think it tracked down my lure and followed it out there and hit it I think that's what happened but that fish was not only hanging out in the thick lily pads oh there's another one that fish was also, it's, it's shade right here. See how there's shade coming from these trees right here? I think these fish are liking that shade. And I think that's why they're hanging out here. And that first one that I caught <clears throat> was right on that shoreline right back there and there's some shade coming from those tall trees right there also that's also where that fish was hanging out in right in the shade so these fish like like shade i think and the uh the lily pads provide shade but i really can't get very far back up in the lily pads with my spinner bait and if i got back up in there with a the frog i would have a tough time pulling them out of there because the pads are so thick in most areas. So I think I'm gonna have to look for shady shorelines and focus on those areas. All right, well here I am in the shade still. And I got another one hooked up here. So this is, oh, I just got off. <laughs> just got off right here. I never got to look at it. It was, didn't feel like it was very big. But yeah, these these fish are they're either hanging out here in the shade and they're not in the sun at all, or else they're active hanging out in the shade and inactive when they're in the sun.
Yeah, the camp going over here providing some music for the lake. This bass is a pretty decent one. He was hanging out right in the shade right there. It's about uh, 15 and a half inches. Good size bass. Oh, I got a fish that got tangled up in the lily pads though. I think it came free now. Yeah, it's, it's free. Oh, it's a good size bass. Yeah, that's a really good size bass. Probably 17 inches. <clears throat> uh, 16 and a half. 16 and a half inch bass. I got a little bass on here. It was hanging out right in the shade. Oh, he got hung up. Oh, he got hung up on a log right there and got off. He hit right up there in the shade, though. You no know, lily pads in the, sh the shade from the shoreline. I mean, it didn't feel like it was very big. Oh, this one got hung up in the lily pads also. It's like they hit the they hit the lower and they run straight to the thickest patch of lily pads they can find. Good sized bass. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Good quality bass right there. I'm saying 16 inches probably. That yeah, one hit. Right there, right where I'm pointing, right there. And I had already casted through here. About two casts earlier, I casted to pretty much the same spot. And I did not get anything. So, I guess sometimes it's worth it to cast back to the same spot you just casted to. I'm trying to get this one. I'm getting into the weeds in the first place. Oh, it's trying though. It's trying hard to get into the lily pads. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big bass right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, this is getting a picture for sure.
I'm saying this is this is all of 18 probably oh yeah yeah just over 18 inches just over 18 man that's a good one for sure This bass was right up in the lily pads. It hit my lure as soon as, as soon as the lure hit the water in the lily pads right up there. And I casted a decent ways right up into the pads, not just right on the edge. Probably 14 inches, probably.